So you've seen Amazon FBA, which is too saturated, and you've seen all these surveys that are a waste of time. But did you know that ghostwriting is one of the best side hustles that just about nobody talks about? Now, I remember a few years ago, I needed to make some money. So I started researching side hustles on YouTube, and I couldn't believe how bad some of the suggestions were. Many of them, like Shopify, for instance, were way too saturated, and they wanted me to buy an expensive $1,000 course, or they needed you to invest a bunch of money up front in order to make money. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Or they were incredibly tedious with ridiculously low pay. And I knew there had to be a better way, so I rolled my sleeves up, tried a bunch of them, and I'm going to reveal to you in this video which ones actually work. Now, the first one I want to talk about is either a resume writer or a career coach. And I have a friend who started off writing resumes or as a career coach and now makes over seven figures. So this can be great for somebody who wants to make some money right now, and it can be good down the line if you want to start your own business. And this is especially true if you've either one, worked in a specific profession, two, you're in college going for that profession right now, or three, you've taken some of the tests that you have to take in order to get into that situation. So for instance, the ACT, SAT, or some sort of standardized test. And you don't have to be a world-renowned expert on the career. Oftentimes, people would rather work with somebody who's just a few steps ahead of them. So you might be working with clients to identify their career goals, reviewing and editing their resumes, teaching them how to gently tap the like button, or just writing their resumes from scratch. Now, resume writing is the one I mentioned, but there's many different ways to do this. So just as an example, let's say you took the SAT or the ACT and you had a pretty good score on it. Think back to when you first started studying for the SAT or the ACT. Would you have saved a bunch of time if you had your future self to tell you exactly what to study? The answer to that is obviously yes. You probably would have saved like 80% of your time and effort because the truth is you probably studied a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. So you could start a side hustle where you tutor people on exactly what products to buy and exactly how to study for the tests. Same thing goes if you took an AP test and you scored well on it. And same thing goes if you just just applied to a college and you were able to get in. And of course, the same thing goes if you were able to land a job in a specific career that of course, a bunch of other people want to land a job in as well. And I have a friend who started off by helping people write their resumes that wanted to get into management consulting. He basically would just help people on different forums like Reddit, for instance, he would help them write their resumes, he would answer any questions that they have. And sometimes they would want to hire him for either a consultation or just to write the resume for him. And after he did that for a while, he noticed patterns and he figured out how to sit systematize the process and make a ton of money. Now at the low end of the spectrum, when you're first starting out, you should be making at least 16 to $22 per hour. And of course, it's much better to hire somebody to get into the specific types of careers that you want to get into rather than just hiring a general resume writer. And the reason for that is because these people know exactly what's going to be impressive to other people in that career. I know another guy who did the same exact thing with pharmacy, which is my profession. He basically teaches people how to get desirable pharmacy related jobs. And then I know another guy who does the exact same thing within finance. So he helps people get really high level finance jobs. So this is an insanely lucrative side hustle, and it's going to teach you the skills that might lead you to making a full time income and eventually starting your own business. This one gets a 10 out of 10 money score. Now the next one on the list is going to be a medical coder. And this is especially good if you're somebody who's either interested in going into medicine, or you're studying it right now. Now. And basically what you're going to be doing here is you'll be assigning different diagnosis codes to medical conditions, procedures, and treatments. And these are done by using standardized coding systems such as ICD or CPT. Now this is something that you can do as a full-time or part-time job, of course, but there's also a lot of opportunities out there for freelance work. And as a medical encoder, you'll likely be making somewhere between $21 and $22 per hour. So like I said, this one is especially good if you want to go into the medical field or you're studying for it. But with that being said, realistically speaking, there are better ones on the list. So I'm going to give this one a four out of 10 money score. Next on the list is a copy editor. And this is not to be confused with a copywriter. Now copywriters create new written content, whereas copy editors edit existing content. And as Stephen King says, to write is human, to edit is divine. And copy editors are going to evaluate existing content for accuracy, coherence, and clarity. And oftentimes, copy editors are actually more skilled than writers. 
And copy editors can sometimes make 25 to $30 per hour. Now, a lot of the time, what teams will do is they will have a bunch of copywriters or writers, depending on what type of content that you're making. And then they will have one copy editor that oversees all of the writers. And sometimes the copy editor is actually more skilled than the writers. So really good content writing in general is a super valuable skill, as you can imagine in this creator economy, where there's people like Mr. Beast that are worth like a billion to $10 billion. And yes, all these YouTubers have people who are writing for them. And that's not to mention all the blogs out there as well as the short form content. So there is a lot of opportunity right now, and there's only going to be more opportunity in the future. This one gets an eight out of 10 money score. So comment down below if you've ever had any writing related jobs, or actually if you or your friends have ever done any side hustles and you've had a good experience or a bad experience, whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me, go ahead, comment down below so that everybody can learn something from it. The next one on the list is gonna be a different type of writer and that is a curriculum writer. And this is somebody who's in charge of creating educational materials that are going to be presented to students. So things like specific learning standards, objectives, Objectives, lesson plans, instructional guides, and assessments. And this can be especially good, again, if you have some experience in that particular subject or industry. And this is something that's gotten especially big over the last few years with a lot of curriculum going online. And many curriculum writers do work on a contract or freelance basis. And this is something where you'll earn somewhere between 19 and $27 per hour. And in Glassdoor, on average in the United States, curriculum writers make about $72,000 a year. So again, you don't have to be an expert at this stuff. You just have to be a few steps ahead of whoever you're writing for. So for instance, if you're especially good at math, you can be someone who is a curriculum writer for mathematics related educational content. Next, we're going to talk about ghostwriting. And this is one that's actually very valuable, especially in this modern age where there's a bunch of content being created online. Now, a ghostwriter is a professional writer who is paid to create content for somebody else. So an example of this is there are many authors out there who actually have a bunch of different ghostwriters, and that means they can churn out books incredibly quickly. Now, of course, these writers do have to be good, but the real reason that they're gonna be making a lot of money is because of the fact that their work is going to be attributed to somebody else. Now, of course, there's different spectrums of ghostwriters. There's ones that basically do all the work themselves, and then there's the ghostwriters that maybe do 50% of the work, and then the author does the other 50%. And this is not just books, this is also articles and other types of content that is written online. And this is something where you would easily get paid more than if you got credit yourself. So you can very easily make over $30 an hour ghostwriting. And I personally know a ghostwriter that is highly talented and he's made over a million dollars doing it. Now, again, when it comes to writing, you want to choose something that you can be an absolute expert on, whether it's writing fiction, or maybe you're an expert on a particular subject, you definitely want to niche down and get really good at whatever you are writing at. You don't want to be this jack of all trades that can write anything. You want to be somebody who is really good at, for instance, writing personal finance content. It is so important for you to specialize. That's how you make the big money. So with this one, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 money score. And the reason I'm telling you guys about this instead of the typical side hustles you always hear about on YouTube is because this is where you can actually make really good money. And a lot of these are related to the creator economy. And if you know a friend who's talented and they might make a bunch of money as a ghost writer, go ahead and share this video with them. Actually, if you know a friend who just needs to make some extra money, share this with them so that they can know these really good options as well. Next one on the list is one that you probably have heard about before, and that's an online ESL teacher. So ESL stands for English as a second language. So this is one where it is insanely easy to make money, especially if you're somebody who is lucky enough to be born in a first world English speaking country. <laughs> because there are tons of people all throughout the world that not only want to learn English, but they want to learn how to speak English in an American or a British way. Me neither. We need someone who speaks that language. Right, so it's not just English itself, it's the dialect and it's the way that you speak. Now, a super easy way to get into this is using a company like VIP Kid, which is highly recommended by a bunch of people on Reddit. Now, this is a good way to make money right away, kind of get your foot in the door. You'll probably make somewhere between nine and $15 an hour. So I'm somebody who over the last year or so, I've been traveling to a bunch of different places. I've met a ton of different digital nomads, and this is probably the most common job I've seen. So if you're somebody who wants to 
to travel internationally and you have a good grasp of the English language, this might be one of the easiest possible ways to make money. Now, this one does have a ceiling. You're probably not going to be making a ton of money, but you could probably make $2,000, $3,000, even $4,000 a month. Now, this is something that, of course, you can do part time on the side and make pretty good money. But if you are traveling internationally, you can live like a king on a thousand or two thousand dollars a month in certain countries. So this is one I have seen a ton of people have success with. It's not one that's going to make you a millionaire, but it can be a really good option to make some extra money on the side or if you want to travel internationally. So I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 money score. Next one on the list I'm going to talk about is travel hosting. This is one where you can take advantage of the location that you live in. So let's say you're watching this video and you live in a highly desirable location that has a ton of tourists. This will likely be a great option for you. So what you can do is you can basically make yourself available in a number of different ways. For instance, you could get an Airbnb. You could have people stay at your Airbnb. That's probably the most common way that people do this, but there's other options as well. For instance, you could be a consultant for that location. You can even help them book their flight, local transportation, tell them what the good areas are, etc. You can also help them make sure that they get to see all of the major tourist attractions. I'm sure a lot of us have had experiences where you kind of go somewhere blind and you end up really tired, you end up going to really bad places, and if you don't plan things out, it can turn out badly. But if you hire a local travel consultant, they'll tell you exactly where to go and when to go to it. It's almost like having a best friend that lives in the city. So I have actually done this several times with places that I went to visit, and every single time it saved me a ton of time, effort, and money. But with that being said, most people that are watching this probably do not live in a desirable location that has lots of tourists, so this does not apply to everyone. But if it does apply to you, this is great. But overall, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10 money score. So next, I'm gonna talk about bookkeeping. And you might think that in order to become a bookkeeper, you have to be an accountant. And actually, that is not true. You can be a bookkeeper without being an accountant. And bookkeeping is all about organizing and categorizing a company's financial transactions. So instead of hiring an accountant who is honestly overqualified to do these things, because it's pretty obvious, it's kind of just like data entry, but with financial transactions, many business owners will hire bookkeepers instead, and then they'll pay the accountant to basically go over the bookkeeper's work. And oftentimes bookkeepers will charge 30 to 35 plus dollars per hour. And in many cases, they do work on a freelance basis. Now, this is especially good for somebody who likes organizing data. So if you're somebody who really likes to use Excel, for instance, this can be especially good for you. Now, the great thing about bookkeeping is not only can you make money right off the bat as a freelancer, but on top of that, you can actually turn this into a full-time business. So yeah, this can be a really good option for some people out there, I'll give it a six out of 10 money score overall. The next one is going to be one of the easiest possible ways to make money. And you could literally make money with this probably tomorrow if you wanted to. And that's going to be transcription. Now, almost every video on YouTube recommends transcription as a side hustle. And there's a reason for that because it actually works. Now, there are many companies out there that offer transcription writing such as Rev or Transcribe Me. You can also become a freelancer and get jobs on websites like Fiverr or Upwork. And I'll be honest with you, this one doesn't pay all that well. Out of all of them on this list, this is probably the lowest paying and it's also relatively tedious. But with that being said, if you needed to make money like literally in the next week, you have to make like a few hundred dollars, this is probably the best one on the list. With a lot of the other ones on this list, it might take a few weeks or a month in order to start making money. But with this one, some of them even pay out the next day. So if you're somebody who just needs a little bit of extra money for a short period of time, you don't wanna go into a brand new career, or you just need to make some money super fast, this is the one I would recommend to you. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 money score. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about surveys. And I know I made fun of surveys earlier, but that's because most survey companies are terrible. Terrible. But there are a few out there that are relatively decent. And if you go on subreddits such as Beer Money, where people basically share how they make extra money on the side, surveys are one of the ones where people consistently report making money. And under this category, I am talking about surveys, but I'm also talking about market research studies, right? So let's talk about some of these on Beer Money. They basically share how much money they're making. So MTurk, which is Mechanical Turk, this is money people are making. Swagbucks, this is money people are making every month. Prolific, this is money people are making every month. 
month. As you see here, Prolific and MTurk again. Then you've got Swagbucks here. You've got Prolific here and you've got MTurk. Then of course, you've got a market research study for $250. Here you've got Prolific for $309, Swagbucks for $120. You've got Connect Cloud Research for $100. So yeah, in conclusion, you can make money from surveys. Just don't waste your time with the ones that don't work. And again, all you have to do to figure out which ones are working right now is to go on subreddits like Beer Money and see which ones they are are reporting as actually making money from. So this is another one where you can make some money. It's basically just gonna be a little bit of extra beer money, as they say there, every single month. You're probably not gonna be able to pay all of your bills with it. And there are probably much better ways to make money long-term, but if you need just a little bit of extra money, this can be an option for you. So I'll give this one a six out of 10 money score. Now it can be extremely hard to figure out what freelancing gig is right for you because everybody has a different personality, different strengths, etc. But luckily I actually created a freelancing for beginners tier list which people absolutely love. It gives them a bunch of different ideas that can be great for them. And I'll put that right here. Definitely go watch that.